Welcome to the King. Continued absence of Funsan Company, who is still out with the groin injury he suffered against Portugal earlier this month. We expect Witzel to come in. Waston, Calvo, Guzman, Campbell and Venegas making way. Changes possibly to do with fatigue as much as anything. And so the surprise package at the last World Cup, Costa Rica, are taking on one of the sides fancied to make Mounier. Makes in Rhodes, Mertens, Hazard, dangerous, Hazard! That's a brilliant piece of defending from Giancarlo Gonzalez because for all the world it looked as though Eden Hazard was going to tap Roberto Martinez's side into an early lead. Well, two again. And Hazard was waiting. And in the end... Hazard. Nicely done. Lukaku looking for a penalty. And well, to say that the referee's not interested is a bit of an understatement. The video had to get didn't he? Madrid's victory over Liverpool. So a uh, good run from Carrasco. And he's won the first corner of the game. He says that he has to really work a lot individually to keep himself at the as he isn't at the required standard Miata's header is a long way over the top leading marksman Bruyne's ball and very nearly Dries Merton's touch here's Ed Nazard who's onside looking for Lukaku what a save from Navas the flag was up anyway, but Kayla Navas didn't know that at the time. Well, he's certainly offside there, Romelu Lukaku. But how of Carrasco first time. Nearly caught out Kayla Navas. Mertens. That's nice, Lukaku! Couldn't get the top for Kess. Marini's continued his run. Had to be watched by Vertonghen and Ruiz. Well, how about that? Brian Ruiz on the volley gives Costa Rica the lead. Well, that was not in the script. <laughs> and they are loving it. Mourinho kept it alive well. And then as he continued his run, the header from Vatonga fell to Brian Ruiz and he struck it ever so cleanly. Courtois perhaps just slightly unsighted. May still be disappointed to Hazard. Brazil trying to pick the lock. Hazard to Mertens. Parried by Kayla Navas. see they were just waiting and waiting for a gap to emerge and when it did find any of them Hazard and still and Mertens is in the right place to level things up for Belgium he had a quick glance across to see whether or not the flag was going to go up that was the only issue that was going to prevent him levelling the scores because he was never going to fail to hit the target. And a bit of relief for Roberto Martinez. And it was a very well-crafted pass to set Lukaku away in the first place. This option side to side goes for Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku! And here's Eden Hazard. 
Mounier, Azard. Carrasco to Monier and Hazard's there. In fact, it was Mertens arriving. This is Eden Hazard. And that's easy for Kayla Navas. Well, Monier's delivery here. And uh, Mertens got himself in a bit of a pickle. Hazard picked it up. Put it too close to the Real Madrid keeper. This is not what uh, any one of a Costa Rican persuasion would want. Uh, Mertens has worked it on to Ed Mazard. Here's De Bruyne, danger, and it's a corner. Could have been worse, could have been a lot worse with Kevin De Bruyne picking up possession just outside the penalty. Hazard. Hazard. will be another corner. In from De Bruyne. And the free header for Boyata leads to Vertonghen putting it in. But this time the flag does go up. Tongan immediately looking across to say it shouldn't have been disallowed. First glance, I think he met De Bruyne, Hazard, and De Bruyne for Lukaku, who couldn't get the touch he was hoping for. Here's Mertens. Mertens, dangerous, and in, Romelu Lukaku. The flag isn't going to save Costa Rica on this occasion. Romelu Lukaku on target for the second game in a row. And Belgium's all-time record top scorer adds to his tally. That makes it 12 goals in his last eight games for Belgium. While he had a disappointing World Cup four years ago. Carrasco to De Bruyne. Witzel. Coaches are taking friendlies by the amount of substitutions at half time. Bruyne just a bit too much on it for Lukaku. Comes for Shadley, who stands it up towards Lukaku, who gets his second of the game. Necessarily answer the questions about whether Lukaku and Carrasco to De Bruyne. Well, you expected the net to bulge, and I think his reaction shows you that he did as well. Given that kind of room, he'll be frustrated. Nasa Shadley back here for Alderweireld, who gets the cross in. Find another yellow shirt in there. Hazard for Witzel. He's going to have a pop and send it a long way over the top. Uh, lost his way. Ed Hazard hasn't. And he's still going. Hazard for Lukaku, who sets up Batshuayi unselfishly when he could have gone for the hat trick goal himself. Batshuayi buries it and wins the game, surely, for Belgium now.
if you're ever looking for an example of team spirit and the fact that it's alive and well, this from Romelu Lukaku should get sides at the top of their game that much more difficult. Shadley's cross, I think not a touch, and will be a corner. Covered by Kalor Navas. Looking for the foul, advantage played, Witzel! Not quite able to turn it into an advantage. His uh, acrobatic bicycle kick against Gibraltar and Belgium there and uh, Tielemans and Torgan Hazard! Well, has to hit the target from there and given his performances for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Bundesliga over the course of the season, you'd have banked on him at least forcing a save out of Navas. Up in the shop window or impress the new Arsenal coach, perhaps, as Tielemans doesn't impress with his effort. And Tielemans, well smothered by Kaylor Navas, who can't prevent the corner, but did prevent a fifth Belgian goal. And that will do, and it will most certainly do for Belgium. They will head to Russia with two morale-boosting victories under their belt.